But how could she ever think of doing such a thing? Because Lily would have made the wrong choice. Without the angels around to guide her, she and all the other mortals would inevitably succumb to wicked influences. And they'd be helpless but to act accordingly. I wouldn't even want to imagine a world like that. Come on, now's the time to strike. First of all, you need Gloria's cell phone. Luckily, it's identical to yours. You can just swap them. Gloria! Oh, you're looking quite fashionable today. Oh, thank you. It's Alexander's favorite. Are you seeing him today? Uh, yes. We're going to the park. I see. Maybe you can give me some advice on how to be fashionable? Oh. For example, this blouse of yours is fantastic. Thank you, but it's very delicate fabric. Excuse me, obviously I've got a lot to learn about fashion. No big deal. Perfect, that idiot never noticed a thing. Now, just use it to send a text message to Alexander and you're all set. No one will be the wiser. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Glory should be here any minute. Hmm? Now, let's see if this little plan works. Huh? Oh, a text message. Gloria can't make it. I wonder what happened. It's showtime. Alexander! Lily! Uh, hi. I was taking a walk. Weren't you supposed to be meeting up with our friend Gloria today? Yeah, but she sent me a text. She can't come. Sorry to hear that. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, huh? I can keep you company, right? After all, I'm your best friend. I wonder where Alexander is. It's not like him to be an hour late. Hmm? I can't figure out what's wrong with this phone. My password just isn't working. Oh, well. Huh? <laughs> Alexander! Huh? Gloria, what are you doing here? No, what are you doing here with her? I got a text from you. Can't huh? you see that he's bored with you? What are you saying? You could have at least told me. Wait, don't listen to her. He doesn't want to oh. hurt you, but you can see for yourself. He and I make a perfect oh. couple. <sighs> hmm? Mm. Oh. oh, no! Mm. <laughs> uh, sweet, um, are you okay? Someone hand me a dictionary. Huh? A dictionary. If it's gonna help us not vanish, I need to understand every word of this book. And I need to read every single page. All right, now that's the spirit, sweet. I'm getting hungry. I think we should take a break. I'll faint if I don't put something in my stomach soon. Why don't we bring some snacks to the table? 
Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of a five-course meal, accompanied by maybe one or two large appetizers. We can't hmm? take that big of a break. Um, four courses? Gas. Uh, but I need... I need fuel. Mm. Mm. Hey, Gas. Mm. Go on a diet. You said a diet? Watch your mouth there, Kabiria. Poor Gas. We love you even with that body. Hey, can't you see I'm in a crisis here? I'm hearing mm. you, Gas. Huh? But it's not like food's going to vanish. Just think about mm. Catherine. If you disappear, she'd be left all alone with that Mickey. I'm not crazy about the idea, but what can I do about it? Maybe you should start thinking about the consequences. Yeah, like what? Guess I could give you an example that would make even you lose your appetite. Now I know you're exaggerating. I'm not. I'll prove it. Listen. Catherine is so dedicated to her schoolwork. She'd rather stay inside and do her homework. And look how many books she takes home from school. I'm so tired. This bag really weighs a ton. Good thing I'm almost home. There you are, Catherine. You're finally back. Hi, you're home early. Of course, darling. But there's something else I want to show you. Come and see. living room is a mess, Mom! More like a catastrophe. Well, yes. Your brothers and sisters threw a little party, and this room needs a good cleanup, but I don't have the energy for it. But I'm tired too, Mom! Hmm, it's time to inspire Catherine to do a good deed. Lula, activate projection mode! Words, phrases, and predicates. A shrill whisper. Oh, muttered cry. Say what you have to say. Be understood and heard. Maybe you could get some rest for a while and then put the living room in order. Well, maybe I could help you clean up after dinner. Yes, well, about dinner, dear. Mom? I was hoping you could have this cleaned up before dinner. My recommendation was only that she'd lend a hand. It'll take hours. Well, then I'll just go out for dinner. But I thought you were tired. I am, but never too tired to go out for the evening. I just can't say no. She's my mother, and it is my responsibility to help. Hmm. Well, I guess I'd better get to work. Uh, Poor Catherine. She's been cleaning for four hours. She hasn't even stopped to take a bite. Oh, I'm starving. Luckily, I'm finished. Hiya, Kate. We're going out. It's almost dinner time. That's right. That's why we're going out for pizza. Also because the kitchen's a disaster. Your mother and I haven't had a chance to clean it yet. Okay, then. I'll go with you. Sorry, but I was kind of hoping you could clean the kitchen, Catherine. But I'm so tired and hungry. Well, if you're that tired, you better not come with us. But we'll save you a slice, okay? Oh, no. I have to suggest that Catherine does the wrong thing. Goodbye, Kate. And please, clean up the kitchen for me or else Mom will ground me. But how do I do it? If only Gas were here. He doesn't have any scruples. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll eat later. Like, maybe tomorrow. If I'm lucky. And don't fall over. What a great sister. A disaster. And it's all my fault. Mickey blamed herself because you weren't there for Catherine. Huh? Gas, still hungry? Okay, you convinced me. Everyone back to work. What about your hmm? appetite? I've lost it. Hmm. Huh? It's amazing. Mm-hmm. He's finally understood the gravity of the situation. Maybe this is it. What would you find? A rule in the military's code of war. What hmm? does it say? Hmm. That the generals of the angelic and devilish host can be challenged personally or collectively by any contenders for the same position. I don't understand at all. 
Basically, it says that if someone challenged Cassidy and Cabral and they won, they could take their place and then take sole command of the angelic and devilish hosts. And how exactly would this solve our problem? Of course! At that point, the new commander could impose a ceasefire, am I right? You're right, Uri, and then our troubles are over. Yeah, but who would be crazy enough to challenge them? I will. Myself and Sulphus. What? Cassidy and Kubral are the greatest warriors of all time. You'd be risking your life. Yeah, Sweet and Mickey are right. It's too dangerous. I know. However, I've thought long and hard about what would happen to Daniel if he didn't have an angel to guide him. Come on, shoot it! You're just slow. Afraid you're gonna lose? Uh, I thought you guys hmm? never lost anything. Daniel! You're coming back? I had a change of heart. You mentioned something about getting a second show? Yeah, yeah, of course, kid. Are you really sure you want to do this? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let's go! Come on! Yeah. Hurry up and get that door open! Who's there? Daniel? What are your brothers doing here? What's going on? We just needed a little money, Dad. Okay, that's fine. But there's no need to break into my garage. Take this. It's all I have. Thanks. What a frightening scenario! This is what would happen if all the angels disappeared from the face of the Earth. Then we have just no other choice. That's right. I'll have to deal with Cassidy and challenge her for the angelic hosts. Moments to grow.